check this out. A little newspaper article from when we first started. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. We were in the newspaper. Nerd. Welcome to a new episode of DeVos Firearms. I'm Dave, and as you can tell, I'm not in the shop. I'm actually driving right now. I'm heading out to uh, Georgia to see our good friends at the King of Camo. Um, Nate and Ryan, if you don't remember them, they came up, visited our shop, and I got a chance to go down to Palmetto's The Gathering and have a range day with those guys. Well, an opportunity came up that I could uh, go down and visit their shop, but I got to drive a little bit to get there. Uh, so I'm going to head down there and check out their shop, and uh, we're going to film some content, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. So I will see you there in just a few seconds. All right, I finally made it, but before I head in, here's a quick word from this video sponsor. Have you ever Googled your own name just to see what comes up? I recently did, and what I found left me feeling uneasy and concerned. Information dating back to my college days was systematically listed on multiple websites, including my addresses, the dates I lived at each address, phone numbers, and even known associates of mine, which included family members of my wife who don't even live in the same state as us. It's unsettling to think that this information is just readily available with a simple Google search of my name. And now having a YouTube channel and being more in the public spotlight, my concerns about protecting my identity and information have only grown. That's why I've started using Aura, the sponsor of today's video. Aura alerts me when my personal information is being sold on the dark web or by data brokers, and they automatically remove my information from these websites. It's an essential tool for anyone looking to safeguard their privacy online. I don't know if you saw this, but AT&T revealed that over 73 million customer records, both existing and former customers, were released on the dark web. They recommend that those affected use strong passwords, monitor account activity, and consider credit freezes or fraud alerts from credit bureaus. Well, Aura does all this for me, and best of all, I don't have to download several different apps just because a company couldn't keep my data secure. If my info was compromised in the AT&T data breach, I wouldn't worry because Aura is always on, always doing the hard work of keeping me safe. I value my privacy and I value yours. You can go to aura.com backslash DBoss Firearms to start your two week free trial, also linked below in the description. King of Camo, Dave. Welcome in. Welcome in. I finally right. made it down. Uh, like I said uh, before, that these guys were kind enough to come up by me. Uh, we visited during the PSA gathering event. So uh, this is the first time that I get to take a look at their shop. So they're going to take us on a quick tour and uh, show us what they do here at the shop and some cool things that they going on, got going on. And also, uh, they got a project of mine that they're working on, and we'll show that to you in here in just a second. So, but first off, let me introduce, uh, if you don't remember, or you, this is the first time you've seen them, we've got Nate, and we've got Ryan, and Hi. this is the king of camo. So real quick, guys, if you could just give us a quick rundown on what you guys do here. Absolutely, well, um, I started the king of camo about five years ago. We are a custom shop, so we primarily refinish firearms, we do laser engraving, we do custom holsters, and we also have a bunch of everyday carry gear in, in the store. Yep. And uh, we also have a part-time job on YouTube as well. We act like idiots, primarily me, but we, uh, we show off what we do, we show off places that we go, we show off certain events and people that we get to meet, like Dave. 
and uh, we get to have some really cool experiences and showcase ourselves a little bit. So. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been an amazing journey, a lot of fun. Uh, our YouTube success has recently come uh, since December, and um, you know we started doing some shorts that are very similar to the DeVos firearm shorts. And uh, that kind of kind of is what made us popular, and we kind of hit it off as uh, as uh, fellow gun stores, and we've become friends, and we do stuff together. And today, Dave's here checking out the shop, so we'll give you a little shop tour if you want. Absolutely. Uh, this is the showroom. Um, all of our custom guns that we showcase here are on the wall. We have our auction guns on the wall over here. That idea was courtesy of Mr. Dave himself. Yes, it was. <laughs> and uh, and then we have all of our everyday carry gear out here. But if you want to follow us into the back where the magic happens. It's the inner sanctum. That'll be more fun. We are uh, we're going to the back now. Check this out. A little newspaper article from when we first started. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. We were in the newspaper. Nerd. A couple of times. I look so young there. <laughs> um, this is my office. Geniuses are messy, so don't judge me. Um, this right here is our laser. It's an 80 watt fiber optic MOPA. It is absolutely badass. We do NFA engraving. We do decorative engraving. We do all kinds of cool stuff with it. And then we have a blue diode laser made by X-Tool as well. And we use it for organic materials like leathers, woods, glass, paper, stuff like that. Back here um, is where we get into some more fun stuff. This is our Kydex. Uh, uh, production area so we do make custom holsters here at the shop and uh, we use Kydex to do it so you bring us your gun and we'll make a holster off of your setup a lot of times you go online and try to buy a holster for your gun you know you have a Beretta Storm uh, a, a PX4 Storm and uh, you got like a Surefire uh, X300 on there it's hard to find that combination holster online so our local customers have the opportunity to come by, drop off their gun, and we'll make it off their gun. We use the vacuum press to do so, and, and as I mentioned, Kydex is a thermoformable material. So what we do is uh, it comes in these sheets in a bunch of different colors. We'll heat it up in the heat press down here till it becomes about 324 degrees, at which point it gets floppy like a noodle. We put it over the mold in the vacuum press, suck it down, wait till it cools and then it hardens in the shape of the gun then we will cut off excess material um, you know sand the edges buff the edges hand sand the edges add hardware all that good stuff according to your requirements to make your custom holster we do custom graphics as well in fact um, we're doing kind of a special build right now we're doing a Deadpool build on a Desert Eagle and we just made this cool custom holster for it uh, and we're also going to be painting an ammo can to match. We are indeed. Over here, this is kind of our um, uh, staging area for where we do all the paint work. As you can see, all the guns get completely disassembled. Every pin, sp spring, detent, and screw comes out. It's a bare part, which then gets sandblasted and degreased, and prepped for paint. Um, so that's how we do stuff here at the shop. We like to do it the right way. We don't just paint over your gun while it's fully assembled. We completely disassemble it so that every part gets kind of candy coated. Um, that way it's really protected. So basically the process is the gun comes in. Our gunsmith Devin disassembles it. We take it, uh, sandblast it, and degrease it um, in the sink. And then we prep it on dowels and hooks and such to paint it. Here at the shop, we use Duracoat. We primarily use Duracoat. Uh, we do spray Cerakote and gun coat at times per customer request, but our preference is Duracoat. There's, uh, there's uh, some philosophies of, uh, of which coating is better and which isn't. Um, personally, I prefer Duracoat. I think Cerakote is a great coating. Um, I think they just kind of have little nuances where I prefer to use Duracoat. Um, so yeah, uh, that's kind of the shop area back here. Um, you know, we've got a bunch of tools that we use to disassemble and reassemble all of our firearms. That's, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. You can also check out some of the paints. We have pretty much every color that Duracoat makes. 
uh, here at the shop. Yeah, but that's how the bread's made. That's how so. the bread's made, <laughs> yeah. All right, so like promised, uh, Nate's got the project that we're going to have him work on. This was the custom 1911 that we sent to Lee Snow to do his uh, test firing, and he wanted to shoot some, uh, what, Auburn? Auburn is who he... No, Alabama. 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 Yeah. No, but Auburn is who he despised. Oh, yes, yeah, he hates yeah. Auburn. Well, mm-hmm. all Alabama fans hate Auburn, and all Auburn fans hate Alabama. Sure. And I'm a Texas fan, so they both suck. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, uh, he test fired that for us, and uh, so now Nate is going to put a custom coating on here for us. He's going to surprise me. The only thing I ask for is something patriotic. So Awesome. Well, no problem. I will definitely make it patriotic. As you can see, I've made other 1911s patriotic. <laughs> um, Just a little. I mean, if you don't like it, you can get the hell out. Yeah, yeah. for real. <laughs> um, yeah, well, we, we tell a lot of people that on YouTube all the time anyway. So, but yeah. It'll turn out really, really cool, and I'm excited to see it. Yeah, I'm excited to see how it turns out. And uh, that's going to do it for the shop video. We have plenty of other... Uh, content we need to film before I leave and I because I'm only here for today. So thanks for tuning in and we will see you next time. See ya.